On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at the new Bandai Thundercats toys. We're looking today at the Thundercats Classics. We're looking at Tigra. Tyra was always a really weird character in Thundercats. He seemed like he was just always a little off. Did you notice that? He always seemed a little off. <laughs> I don't know. But he was very, he was still cool though. I always liked that he turned invisible and stuff. Um, the figure, along with Lino, are the two figures now released through the Thundercats Classics. If they do well, oh, let's hope that we get the rest of the Thundercats team. Perhaps we'll have to get a Thunder, a Wily Kit and Wily Cat 2-pack, because I don't think they, you could sell them on their own. But the figure itself features 18 points of articulation. As I said with the Lino, I do like the packaging because it's got an open window. You can see the figure complete. But if you were to keep it sealed and on a wall or you know on a shelf, um, you could still see the toy completely without having to open it, which I really, really like. On the side, we've got a picture of Tigra, looking a little cooler, I think, than he usually did in the cartoon. Get these huge kind of sideburns going. He's a weird, weird looking character. On the back, it says, Roaring back into action, these highly detailed and articulated figures are based on the classic 1980s animated Thundercats series. It says, Create action poses, includes long whip, short whip, and extra hand. Down below, the other figure you can get in the 8-inch classic line is the leader, the Lord of the Thundercats, Lino. As well, there's the new lineup from the series, the new animated series, which I love. There's 4-inch figures as well as 6-inch deluxe figures. Again, I hope they release more of the deluxe figures besides the Lino, Panthro, and Mumra. But you can collect them all. Boy, I tell you, these toys bringing back my youth, let me tell you. But that is packaging on Tigra. What we're going to do is we're going to get this opened up, and we are going to have a look at the weirdo. <laughs> we're going to have a look at Tigra. Stay tuned, guys. There's more on the way. And, and I was going to say Lino. And Tigra is out of package. Maybe what we'll do first is zoom into his face. It's a weird face, all right, but it is pretty cartoon accurate. Right down to those kind of Wolverine style hair with the sideburns. I'm telling you, man, Tigra was a weird, weird guy. He's got his Thundercats symbol. So far, what I've noticed with these figures, and maybe I've just lucked out, is I find that the paint on these figures are really, really good. I mean, there's very little, little to no. Um, uh, splotches or, or paint or anything that is, was incorrectly placed. I find overall the paint is really, really done well on these figures. Now, Tiger I don't find is as impressive as Lino. Uh, the figure kind of comes up short in, in a couple of departments. Uh, namely, uh, w one thing actually, and if you've watched reviews, I'm certainly not bringing in anything new to the table, but if you watch reviews of this figure, uh, one of the more glaring problems that people seem to spot about this is the fact that his his upper torso, um, unlike the Lino, which I'll, I'll bring in Lino, right there, it's looking very cool. Uh, Lino featured, as, as you can, if you remember, the upper torso and a lower torso uh, joint. Both of them seem to be ball joints. Comparing that to Tigra, Tigra doesn't have that. It's just one solid piece. Um, I don't know why Bandai along the way chose not to put that in for Tigra, but I'm hoping with future releases, if we get a Panthro um, or Chitara, let's hope they actually put that joint back in, just to kind of give them a little extra movement. Um, Tigra, I mean, being one of the more agile members of the Thundercats team, um, that part would have been crucial, I think, for a lot of really cool dynamic poses. But the fact they left that out just seems like a, a missed opportunity. Um, his outfit is that, well, ex exactly like you would see in the cartoon. 
he had the weirdest of the costumes, I think. Um, some of the problems I'm also finding too with my figure is I've got a very loose wrist. As you can see, it just kind of spins around, flops around. I'm hoping this isn't going to give me any problems. Um, he does have an alternate hand, which, much like the lion -O, as a matter of preference, uh, see the peg just came out. That's probably why it's so loose. If I get this peg out. I'm going to do it. No. I already see one problem with this figure is the fact that the hand is the wrong peg came out which is not a big deal you can snap it back in but as you can see swapping out the hands is going to probably be next to impossible now I might not be able to do this you know what for the sake of time I think what I'll just do is I'll leave the hand in like so and I'll just show you the fact that he does come with an alternate hand. This hand is the more important hand, if you ask me, because then at least he can hold his weapon. Let's just put Tiger there. Stay there, Tiger. Stay there. Let's zoom out. There we go. Um, with the alternate hand, you can have Tiger holding his, I guess, bolo whip, which comes in, in various stages, which I really like as well. You can have it retracted. Um, in his in his handle, so you can just have him holding it. You can also unpeg it, and you can take a, a a longer version of it, and you can peg it into place. Peg it into place. Spots noticing at the top of his counter here that he's running out of time. Should have allotted a little more time, but he does come with a much longer version of the whip as well. You take this part off, you also get an even longer piece that you can connect the two together, and you've got a fully extended bolo whip. Now, a couple of people have done this too. You can take it, you can connect the longest extension to the original handle, and take the bolo end and, ex and attach it to to the handle, and you've got two versions of the whip. I'm not going to do that because. Tiger only had the one, but the fact that you've got that option is really neat. I like that. Let me put those aside. In the way of Tiger's articulation, I've also noticed he's got a very loose neck, which is a bit of a shame. But Tiger's head is on a ball joint. He can move left and right. His neck is also on an additional joint that you can move, but as you can see, it makes for a very loose head. He's got a pin and socket shoulder that you can rotate back and forth. You can rotate the bicep bend at the elbow, rotate the very loose hand, you can also swivel the hand back and forth. You can rotate the waist up and down and left and right, the legs can bend out back and forth, rotate the thigh, bend two points in the knee, rotate at the boot, the foot goes up and down and swivels left and right. A decent enough figure, unfortunately I've got some quality control issues. Um, he's not as good as his leader, Lino, but I think Tiger is still a pretty decent enough figure. Um, if I could give him a rating, I probably will give Tiger here maybe about a 6.5. Not a bad figure, but just missed opportunities here and there. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the new Bandai 8-inch classic Thundercats figures, and today we were having a look at Tiger. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.